Good evening, beautiful souls. Welcome to tonight's Pick a Card for October 10th. This has to do with love and romance. Yep, we've got too much love going on in the air. Too many questions. Is he really coming, this mystery guy? Uh, am I really going to get back with my ex? Or is he going to come back? Is she going to come back? What's going on with her? What's going on with him? Let's see if we can get some clarity here in the romance love area of our lives. Now, mind you, when you... Now, remember, you're the psychic here picking the cards, not me. Yes, I dealt them out. But you're the one that's going to be the psychic tapping in and picking the one that resonates the most with you. So remember, though, uh, for example, I've had friends tell me, you know, I was really pulled to pile two, but I kept kind of uh, like her, pile one kept like talking to me. When you have that happen, that means there's a message for you in the other pile. So make sure you read the one that resonated with you the strongest first and then listen to the other one there's got to be a message in there for you that's why that one was kind of pulling at you over here so remember to be open and remember to be just listen with the heart and your intuition okay the messages are there for you and you cannot pick wrong now you know it may not resonate with everybody even if you have three piles to pick from and that you know that happens so if not you know what there's some wonderful pick of cards out there by other tarot readers who are just amazing here on YouTube so please don't just stop with me you check it out somewhere else too if I we're not resonating it's all good okay so what we're gonna do and this is what I like to do for you guys we're just gonna do about a less than a minute we're going to tune in on the singing bulls tone what I do is I'm an energy psychic and what I'm gonna do is I tap in and I send through the the uh, tone, sorry, blah, blah, it's kind of late right now. Um, calming, centering energy will help you lock into your guides. So you can, when you, I want your eyes closed. So, and when I tell you to open your eyes, you'll see the cards. And then, you know, your first instinct, whatever stands out, that's the pile for you. This is how I'm going to help you to bring in, tap into your guides so you can use your intuition, your psychic ability to pick your pile for you. Now, in saying that, I want to let you guys know. Well, I'll tell you after. Let's do. Let's lock in first, and then pick the pile. And I'm going to tell you how I have them set up after that. Ready? We're going to take a deep breath in, please. Imagine a white light coming in through your crown. You might feel a little tingling sensations up there. That's okay. It just means you're locking in. You can call in your guides if you are. Keep breathing. Um, if you, um, whatever your beliefs are, you know we're. We're open to everything around here. It doesn't matter. It's just breathe in. Ask your guides to come in and guide you. Now I'm going to go ahead and start sending you that energy. It's only going to be about 30 seconds or so, but just listen to the tone. Go ahead and close your eyes and continue to breathe. I feel that nice energy coming down into you, locking you in and activating. You might feel pressure here. That means your third eye is activating. Are you ready? Inhale. Close your eyes. Continue to breathe and just focus on the sound. Big deep breath in, keep your eyes closed. Another deep breath for me before you open your eyes. Now open your eyes and the first pile that you're drawn to is your pile. So I'll give you a minute. And remember if the second pile is kind of drawn at you, remember to listen to the reveal for that one too. Are we ready? Let's do this. Four minutes and 46 seconds for pile one people. Okay, what I asked when I did these, where you are at in love, there's three cards. Where you're at, where, where you're at, where you are at in love right now, 
The second card is what they think of you, or they're thinking of you. And the third card is a tarot card, and it is going to clarify the situation a little better for us. It'll give us the, what I asked was, what is the potential dynamic for this relationship immediate future? So we're talking uh, no more than two weeks out, okay? So from now to two weeks. Okay, let's do this. People of the pile one, where are you at? Playfulness. Allowing your youthful spirit to, see, I don't pay attention to this part because that has nothing to do with what I asked. So, playfulness, being playful, getting excited, going, yeah, hey, how you doing? And just all in play, you're having fun, you're enjoying it, and that's good. There's no pressure. Uh, but be careful on the playfulness part, you know. I mean, if it feels good, do that, but follow your instincts and follow your intentions, okay? That's what this is saying. It's kind of questioning. It's like, I want to play and have fun and have attention and affection, but I'm still... It seems like you're on the fence about committing or checking out more people. And of course you should, because I, I have this feeling that maybe you've never done that before. You've never met different types of people, and you're kind of seeing that now. So, but playfulness. Now, there is somebody, somebody you've been thinking of. So what are they thinking about you? What do we got? Passion. There's a reason why I'm holding the bottom, because that's not what I'm asking. Passion. They're looking at you as, I want you. But the passion has, is not just sex. This is passion. This is coming from the heart. This is coming from the body and soul. It's like it's encompassing everything. And they see you and they just, they want to wrap themselves around you and just, you know, light those fires, baby. Which is good because that means there's feeling behind that. And it's good feeling. I feel that this person it's so built up with feelings for you, it's coming out in that way. So if you've been seeing or sensing that from this person, I feel like you might be in contact with them. This is what they're feeling about you right now. Now let's get a little clarification on the potential dynamic of this relationship. Like, where does it stand? What's, what's going to happen here in the next two weeks? And we got the Knight of Wands. Okay, the Knight of Wands is clarification. Okay, <clears throat> so basically what it's saying... It's like action, do action. I feel that there's an action that needs to be taken towards this person. It, you got the go ahead if you want to pursue this a little bit more seriously. Um, yes, do so, okay? Um, but I do also see that you need to watch that even though you want to get carried away and crazy and stuff like that with this person, it's fine in moderation, but be really careful because it could steer you so far out you're going to turn around and go what the hell am i doing and then you're out okay there's other things that i cannot see that that um really uh hinder on this i think that's the wording i'm looking for here it's hard to tell i feel like i got eight people in my head right now um not in my head <laughs> yep yep um, but really, yes, enjoy yourself. Yes, feel that passion and let the love in. And I think that's why they're asking not to get too carried away into the escapism of it because, it, or get carried away from it because it might derail you from what you really are needing and wanting to manifest. That may feel good for the moment, but you got to kind of look at the long term. So you might want to slow down just a hair on this. Follow your instincts. They are right on. So that is people of the pile one. Let's go to people of the pile two. What do we got here? Eight forty-nine. People of the pile two. What's happening? What are you doing? Where are you in love? Let's see. Uh oh. Whoever you've been thinking about, whether you're with them or not. Soulmate. Soulmate. Yes, this person, I feel, jives with you, resonates with you very strongly. Even if you haven't actually contacted, I feel like there's there hasn't been direct contact for some of you that pick uh, this and people, uh, people of the pile too, okay? And the other people, the people are starting to feel, all of a sudden, it, I feel like some of you are like, whoa, wait a minute, there's something here, okay? Yes, there's something there. Now, let's see what they think of you so we can look this at this in a bigger perspective. Okay, this may not resonate with everybody. But for this person, religious factors, <laughs> I feel that um, his love life or her, their love life is influenced by their, uh, their upbringing or their spiritual path. They're looking for someone to match in that spiritual aspect, whether if they're 
atheists or if they're Wicca, if they're Mormons, if they're Christians, you know, or Buddhists, it doesn't matter. But that does have a, a plays a very big role because it's like you have to support them spiritually. That's what they're looking for. That's what they need in a partner. So it, that will be your key factor there. Um, but apparently if he's your, at this press, sorry, I keep saying see, he, forgive me. If they are your soulmate, then you should really resonate with that with them. Okay, so that's kind of I I feel like that's a marker for you to go ding. Okay, that's that's who we're talking about. Okay, now the clarification card, uh, the dynamic, the potential dynamic for this relationship, the hero fan. This person or this union is going to bring balance, center, harmony. Okay, not only that, but to be in rhythm. And I also see this person as being a mentor. A mentor to you in spirituality and your spiritual growth. So this is really awesome for people to pile to. Soulmate, spirituality, bringing in calm, peace, and centered and harmony. Harmony in a relationship. That's wonderful. That's really going to help bring you into balance. I feel like a lot of your like, it's not that you need to have someone, okay, in your life to create this sense of harmony, peace, balance, but you, you're starting to get there on your own. This is just going to add to it. You're going to have someone who supports you equally. You're not going to have that off balance. You're like feeling great one minute and here comes this person. You're like, oh no, uh, that's not gonna, that's not what we're seeing. He's the hero fan or she's the hero fan. Sorry guys, I don't mean to label, so please forgive me on that. <clears throat> okay, people of the pile three. What do we got here? 11.44, woo! All right, we're on fire. All right, people of the pile three, what do we got here? I kind of feel like this is for a single people out there. Um, I did not look at these cards before I pulled. Okay, just so you know, um, I do pull them and have them ready, but I don't look at them until I start doing this. So, ready, people of the pile three, let's do this. Oh my God. You know, sometimes even I just, okay, anyway. People's Apollo 3, where are you at in love? Where it's waiting for, there's waiting going on, playing the waiting game, feeling the connection, feeling love from somewhere, somebody, and it's like, where the fuck are they? <laughs> Hello? Or you know who it is, or you have a feeling. But the connection with this person, you know who it is. Okay, trust me. I picked Apollo 3 myself. I did. So... But divine timing, everything's going to come together when it's supposed to. We have to kind of step back and quit being like, come on now, now, now I'm ready. You're going to be ready to, you just get over here. Come on, contact me. Come on, <laughs> talk to me, you know. No, we have to, <laughs> divine time, when we are really ready, we won't be like that. Ugh, I hate saying that because I kind of, I have to smack myself in the back. Dead. Yeah, do you hear that, bitch? Yes, I hear that. Okay, and it sucks. <laughs> who, who likes weed? But you know what? It's going to be worth the wait. It's going to be way better than we imagined. So we need to stop imagining and just go, you know what? They're coming in and feel sad and know this. Really step in. We manifested so much shit over the, I mean, from summer to now. This is going to manifest too. We just have to let go of control because really, what do we have control of? <laughs> us. Us, the way we react to things and the energy we're putting out there. So... So we got to be patient. My favorite word in the whole wide world. Okay, what are they thinking? The people that you feel connected to and you really feel strongly like something's there, even if you haven't met them yet. Okay. Oh my gosh. What are they thinking about us? I'm afraid to flip it. Okay. <clears throat> Free yourself. Now. They are in a position where they are working on themselves. Uh, let me put it this way. I feel that they're behind us a little bit, but they're getting there. They're stepping, they're stepping into their, uh, their own authentic self. They're stepping into their strength is what I feel. And they're, they're starting to step into who they are. I feel that there's a lot of heartbreak around them. I feel like they're, they've gone through some shit, just like we have, except for they're behind us a bit. So we got to have a little bit more compassion and tolerance. And you don't want somebody right now before they're ready either, especially if they just came out of something because then there's a rebound factor. You know what I mean? So we really want to make sure that this does come at the right time. So I, even I have to swallow that pill. But, um, but I do feel with this person, or whoever they are, 
Uh, there's also, like, there's a third-party factor there, so there's still somebody kind of involved, but they're starting to get moved out of the picture. But it's up to them to walk away, you know, knowing that they're done. So um, there's going to be a little time there. But um, we got our clarification card. What is the potential dynamic for this relationship, possible relationship, uh, I'm saying now, uh, for the, from the immediate future, which is from now to two weeks? You ready? If you want a confirmation if this person is the one or your twin flame, we got the magician. The magician is always answering with a yes, a big resounding yes. But not only that, but it's also telling us, look at this. Look at his hands. He's in balance. But within himself, it's very important, people of the pile three, that you really step into interdependence here with this person. Stand strong with your authentic self and self-care because that's very important to the other person too. It's not that they... They're, they just don't, they've been in codependency. They, they recognize that, and so do we. So we just, you know, where we are from. But we have to keep doing what we're doing, keep taking care of ourselves, self-care first, and they're going to appreciate that because that's where they are. So, And then there's a really good union there. There's a lot of magic to be had between the two of you. Um, I mean, we're talking creative projects. We're talking love. We're talking creating families so all that is here and you know what it's worth waiting for oh just a little longer guys they're coming but we can't rush them and we really shouldn't want to because we want them to come in when they're ready you know what i mean because then the love will really be strong so guys there is our love pick a card i hope that was uh good for you guys as it was for me that didn't sound right yeah i need a cigarette now on a sunday I'll be good. But anyway, um, there will be more pick of cards to come. I'm going to do one on Friday so we can see what's ahead for the weekend. So anyway, on that note, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. And I am also on Instagram as Psychic Cats. You can find me on Facebook at Psychic Cats. You can go to my website, www.psychiccats.com. Okay, anyway. <laughs> On that note, yes, if you want to book a private reading with me, please head over to my website. I do need to do some updating there, but I'm working on it. But I do have reasonable rates, and I do run some specials here. I'm actually overdue, which I'll be doing soon. So make sure you keep an eye out on any of those social media sites that I've mentioned, as well as my website. And here on YouTube, as I will be doing more stuff on here, because I did miss it. Because I used to do it, and I stopped. But anyway, who cares? All right, guys, on that note... Namaste, and as always, sending you love and light, and please like and share and subscribe to this channel so you know what I'm up to, because half the time I don't. But anyway, on that note, guys, lots of love and light to you, and remember, you're a spiritual badass. You own that. You guys are awesome. Thank you.